E-bike adoption is rapidly on the rise. Here in 2023, people are more and more turning to e-bikes for fun casual cruises, for commutes, and for exploring parts unknown. But the e-bike marketplace has never been more crowded than it is today. So with all the available options out there, which e-bikes are best? That is the question that we are here to answer today. I'm Griffin Hales. And I'm Justin Taylor, and we have brought along John Bozik, Christina Clark, and Forrest Woolman from our Electric Bike Report team. And over the past two years, we have put over 10,000 miles on over 150 e-bikes. We have hill tested these e-bikes. We have circuit tested these e-bikes. We have brake tested these e-bikes. We have tested these bikes to the ground. And out of that testing, we are coming up with our list of the best e-bikes for 2023 and presenting that to you today. All right, so before we dive into the 13 models that we're gonna to highlight today, we wanna to make two points. First of all, when we started this, our, our initial draft had over 30 bikes on the list. Now we obviously can't do a video of 30 bikes. That'll be over two hours long and we're not gonna do that to you. But please go to the link down below where it'll take you to our best e-bikes page of 2023. And on that page, there's a list of all the bikes, the runners up, links to their individual reviews, so you can learn about all the different bikes that are fantastic for this year. Now today we're gonna to be giving you a mixed bags of different bike styles. The only thing they have in common is they are all under $3,000 with the exception of one. Um, so we are going to have future videos coming out very soon where we look at the best over 3,000, best cargo bike, best fat bike, best folding bike. We will have plenty more to come here shortly. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to do the notification bell so you're aware as soon as those videos come out. But without further ado, let's jump into our picks for this year's top e-bikes. Leading things off is our pick for the best electric fat bike with the Event and Adventure 2. Now, the original Event and Adventure was one of our favorite bikes and the newest model found a way to make the ride even better. Honestly, whenever we put friends or family on this bike for the first time, it is always accompanied with big grins and laughter. It is just a bike that delivers on a wow experience. Now, part of what's new on this bike versus the original version is the torque sensor that Aventon has uh, paired with this bike. With that 750 watt motor, it is a very natural pedal experience. However, it delivers an absolutely thrilling and fast ride and it helps you conquer any hills. Overall, it's a very compelling spec package. You're getting great value for your dollar here. That starts again with that 750 watt motor, eight speed drivetrain, front suspension fork, color LCD display, and that pairs with Aventon's app for ride configuration. You've even got good safety with integrated rear tail lights. Honestly, it's just a very well put together bike with sleek design, and it's one that we love and have logged many, many miles on. And for me, the Event and Adventure has kind of more of a personal sweet spot for me. This is the bike that my own father loved so much that he agreed to shave his beard and his mustache if I gave him one. Now to put that in context, I'm the old guy, one of the old guys of the group. I'm over 40 years old. I have never seen my dad without a mustache in my life. In fact, my mother has ne had never seen my dad without a mustache ever since she met him. So for him to shave that in order to get this bike, it just shows how much he loves the bike. And frankly, that's kind of the feeling that we get from a lot of our readers who have purchased it. Like Griffin mentioned, all of the friends and family that jump on this bike just love it. You know, and my dad kind of personifies who this bike is great for. You know, he loves taking it off-road kind of in conditions like this. He lives in Boise, Idaho. My sister lives about 30 miles away. He'll also jump on this all the time and ride to her house kind of in a commuting scenario. So it really is a do-it-all, go-anywhere type of bike that just with the fat tires, with the front fork, with, with just the clean geometry, is just very comfortable and a very fun bike to ride, which is why we've awarded it our best fat tire e-bike for 2023. 
Now, there are a lot of great options for folding e-bikes today, but if compelled to pick one, we had to go with Electric XP 3.0. Quite simply, Electric is maybe the brand the most committed to keeping prices absolutely as low as possible while still producing a quality product. The XP 3.0 compared to the 2.0 that came before it was a massive improvement across the board. They gave you more suspension on the front fork, expanded the gearing range. You got more torque from the motor, making it more capable on hills. You got a little bit more battery life and you got a rear rack that was twice, uh, that they doubled the carrying capacity of the previous version, making it much easier to have a passenger package or carry more cargo. Honestly, it is a bike with tremendous value. It is the second most affordable e-bike that we recommend here at EBR. And the only one that's even more affordable than this is the Electric XP Lite, which is a trimmed down version of this bike for a couple hundred dollars less. Honestly, it is just such an amazing, compelling package. And the fact that it folds up just really puts it over the top for us. Yeah, and, and for me, one of the things that puts it over the top as well is honestly, there's not another e-bike that I see more of. I go to, if I go to a mountain bike race with a high school team, I'll see 13 year olds, 14 year olds kind of zipping around. You know, when I go, when I go back to the office the next day and I'm doing a range test, I'll see 60, 70, 80 year olds riding the electric XP. And they all have one thing in common. That's the smile on their face, having the time of their life. And the fact that electric has been able to do that at such an affordable price, we're, we're just so stoked for it because it gets so many more people off the couch, out onto the trails, on an e-bike, having fun. And when you take everything that Griffin said and everything that I, you know, everyone that I see having a blast on this, when you combine that with the fact that it folds up and you can put it literally into a Honda Civic and take it wherever you want, that's really the reason why we've awarded it the best folding e-bike of 2023. Next up on our list is our award for the best affordable commuter e-bike of 2023. And that award goes to the Ride One Up 700 series, which really is the total commuter e-bike package. With the 700 series, you get a ton of features. You get that nice rear rack for carrying your backpack to the office or some groceries on your way home. You get the fenders that'll keep you, you know, clean if you run, run through a puddle or if there's some rain. You have a very good 15 amp hour battery that gives you 28 to 45 miles of range. So you don't have to worry if you can get to, work, get to the office and back. And really you just get all of that at a very good affordable price. You know, for us, when we look at the 700 series, there's a couple things that stand out. First of all, you do have some options. You have this nice, more aggressive high step option, but you also do have a low step, a step through option. that's just a little more cruiser style, a little more upright, if that is your preference. In our testing, the bike did fantastic, but one test where it really shined above the rest was the circuit test. If you look at our circuit test, we're trying to find motors and bikes that just give you a steady increase of speed as you move up in passenger assist so you can dial in the speed that you want. That's especially important on a commuter if you're going on different roads with different speed limits. And the 700 series did stellar in that testing. And just overall, when we look at the package, it's just a great bike for, for how much you have to spend. Yeah, and the reason it's the best affordable commuter is because usually when you're $200 less than very similar looking e-bikes, there's usually something under the hood that they've kind of dialed back on. Like maybe they dropped you from an eighth gear to, to seven gears. Maybe instead of running on hydraulic disc brakes, you're only getting mechanical disc brakes. That is not the case with the Ride One Up 700. They still give you all those desirable components and it comes on a bike that is, I mean, it looks great, it feels great, it runs great. And of course, who is ever mad about being able to save a couple hundred bucks in the process of getting a bike spec more, uh, more in line with more expensive items. Overall, Ride One Up has done a really good job putting this package together and it is just a very fun bike. Now taking the award for best utility bike this year is the Rad Runner series. Now, 
utility bikes are super useful because it's really the jack of all trades style you can commute you can carry cargo you can just go out and enjoy rides and the rad runner is just such a good pick especially right now because rad actually has three different models with an appreciable amount of difference as you kind of go through them now the naming on it is a little bit funny as it's kind of representing three different generations but the most affordable of the bunch is the rad runner 2 you can then jump up to the rad runner plus and the rad runner 3 plus representing the newest most capable one yet to date now, if you start things off here with the Rad Runner 2, it is a great ride. It's got a good motor and the bike really moves well on these wider three inch tires. Um, we love um, just the overall ride quality. And if you are someone who is wanting a little bit more, you jump up to the Rad Runner Plus. This one will take what the Runner 2 gave you, but it adds on a seven speed drive train instead of a single speed. You get the front suspension fork, and then you get a standard fenders and buddy package for carrying a second rider. Now, if you really want the latest and greatest in the cream of the crop, that is the Rad Runner 3 Plus. Now it is a newly redesigned frame. We love what they've done as they have actually reinforced the frame, giving it a high, high payload capacity of 350 pounds and just a very sleek, more modern look. Really, you can't go wrong with any of these Rad Runner bikes. They are just super useful and it's amazing how many different people end up riding a runner. Yeah, and, and for me, there's, there's really two things that really stand out. Um, both with Rad in general and the Rad Runner specifically. And first, it's just the reliability and the fact, you know, we've tested a lot of bikes. And one of the things, um, you're buying an e-bike, right? So you want to make sure that the motor is going to last, that it's going to be there, that it's going to be going to be consistent in its output. And there's a lot of people that try to knock off the Rad Runner and various other Rad models. And so a lot of times with those knockoffs, we do see some problems with the motors. And so we actually took a Rad versus a couple, several other brands out to Hellhole in 110 degree heat. And I rode up and down Hellhole until the motors bricked, died, or they did what they should do. And that is have a sensor that turns it off because it's overheating. And I will say the Rad, we've not, in that test, we didn't have a single issue with any of their models because their motor is just dialed in. And that kind of goes back to the ethos and the heart of Soul of Rad with their main goal of getting people out of cars and cars off the road and onto bikes. And given that that's their main goal, I think that's the reason why the Rad Runner is my favorite bike from Rad kind of by far. You know, when, when you look at this category of utility bike, it's a new category of bike. Before e-bikes existed, it just doesn't work very well. However, when you add that nice, consistent, high quality motor, you can do things with a bike that you cannot do uh, on an e-bike that you can't do on a regular bike. And that's what this epitomizes. You can just do so many things. And in fact, over the years, as the people have called me up and say, hey, Justin, what e-bike should I buy? I can guarantee you almost every single person, one of my recommendations was get a rad runner. I've got several brothers, several sisters, several family members and friends that own runners because of that and really i think it's the bike that everyone should have at least one in their garage because i mean just look you can put a child on the back you can you know at a very less expensive level on the runner too you get basically everything you need to ditch your car you know as you step up to the rad runner 3 which is just a fantastic bike you know i can put a child on the back i can put up a trailer go to the grocery store and they're still fun to ride around. So it really does. I think it's a direct bullseye to Rad's goal of getting people out of cars and onto e-bikes. And that's why we've awarded it, you know, the best utility bike again for 2023. Now we know there are other e-bikes or another step through e-bikes out there that may have a lower step through height, but what we really appreciate that Blix has done here is they've included this additional top tube here that actually just strengthens the frame so that for you as the consumer, you know that this bike is gonna go the long run for you. Um, what this bike does really well is it, it, it actually functions as a bike. And what I mean by that is if you're out on a ride and you're just having so much fun because let's face it, riding e-bikes are fun and we lose track of time and you accidentally drain your battery, this bike is very easy to pedal. So you're not gonna die on your way home. So you'll be able to pedal this home for, um, for that. We know there are a lot of options when it comes to commuters 
and cruisers in this price range. But we're all looking for something unique and we think that's where the Skyline really shines. With its sweeping back handlebars that come to you, they allow you to sit up straight and enjoy that more comfortable, relaxed ride. And mixed with the awesome Dutch style you see here, I mean, that's just a combination made for each other. Yeah, and Blix really excels as a maker of step-through e-bikes. As a matter of fact, five of the six models that they offer are a step-through design. And while it's common to see a lot of bike manufacturers offer a high step and a step-through variant, those five models are exclusively step-through frames. The top tube that Christina mentioned, it helps stiffen up the ride a little bit, making the handling just a little bit more crisp than it would be otherwise. And then of course, as she mentioned, it's just a beautiful looking bike. It's kind of like riding around on a classic car. But of course, this one is a very fun e-bike. That 500 watt motor on this provides a good amount of speed and you're really able to take in those cruises or those commutes, just upright, comfortable, relaxed. And a lot of people are gonna find a lot of pride in a Blix of any Skyline ownership. So the Event in Pace 500.3 is our choice for the best city cruiser of 2023. This is the newly updated model from Aventon that includes a torque sensor like all of their uh, new line of bikes. So we feel that this really does a great job of blending sort of the best of both worlds between a lightweight maneuverable city bike frame, but also including the more comfortable upright geometry of a cruiser. Uh, this bike is very maneuverable. It has a nice 500 watt hub motor that uh, just generally feels a lot more powerful than it actually is. Uh, we appreciated the bike's step through design and its weight, which it's, it's just 52 pounds. So that combination allows it to be a little bit more accessible to a wider audience than we typically see with a lot of e-bikes. Uh, and the pace also just benefits from Aventon's general approach to e-bikes with its sort of uh, contemporary take on cruiser styling. Uh, we have the torque sensor, like I mentioned, the integrated tail lights with turn signals in the seat stays, and also the bike pairs with the Aventon app uh, so that you can turn it into class three mode if you want, or you have access to the Aventon community and you can track all your ride data. So I'm traditionally not a huge fan of cruiser style e-bikes, but I found myself having a lot of fun on this bike, especially because of that rear hub motor. Like I said, it just feels a lot more powerful. Uh, it handles really well. It's, there's a lot to appreciate here, even for someone like me. And that means that if you like cruiser style e-bikes, I think you're absolutely going to love this one. Yeah, it does, as John mentioned, it does a seamless job of blending together city and cruiser and even some commuter elements as well. Um, the two words that always come to mind when riding the Pace 500 is zippy and just snappy handling. Um, the bike really does dart in and out very well. That motor is very nice with that new torque sensor. And then of course it is just uh, very nimble out there on the roads. Um, that lighter weight makes it easier uh, for maneuvering the bike. It also makes it easier for getting it up on a bike rack. Now, Every time my in-laws come into town and I'm talking to my mother-in-law, she always makes sure that she that I have her bike um, on hand, which means I have to go to the office and get the Pace 500. It is absolutely a bike that once you have ridden it and enjoyed it, you will be hooked and you'll be wanting to go back for more and more rides. So may I present to you the winner of our most affordable fat tire e-bike, the Himaway Cruiser. First, you look at it, it's got suspension forks. That's great, you're gonna get a softer ride combined with those 26 inch by four inch fat tires. The battery, it's 840 watt hour. So what did that convert to? On our range test, we went 43.6 miles in PAS5. That's the highest pedal assist level. That's the highest range that we've gotten ever out of a fat tire bike that had a single battery. So great range, great suspension. The motor, 750 watt motor. It's got a lot of power, accelerates really well. I think riders who maybe want to have a little bit more motor and a little less pedaling are going to really like this bike. But then you also look at the whole package. You've got fenders and you've got a rear rack. It's just a win-win situation with this bike. You look at what other bikes like this are going for, they're going to be like at least $200 to $300 less. So a lot of great options on this bike, rides really nice, and that gets our choice for most affordable fat tire e-bike. 
And the Hemingway Cruiser really is just a fun package. A lot of the time when I'm reviewing e-bikes, I like to celebrate bikes that have a very natural ride feel, but every now and then you just kind of want to hop on something that is an absolute speed demon and that will carry you whether or not you're doing much input yourself. When I think of the Hemingway Cruiser, it is a bike that absolutely has acceleration and speed. And that massive battery means that you can go out and have tons of blazing fast fun and go many, many miles. It is a little bit bare bones in some capacities, which is how you get some of that dollar savings with a more simplified drivetrain and a um, simple LCD display. But honestly, they are really giving you the most for what a lot of riders care about, which is that speed and battery life. In all honesty, Hemiway um, riders are some of the most passionate that we have come across. We often joke that they're a bit of a cult just because once people get on Hemiway, they are all under the opinion it is like the best bike out there. So for us, it was a no brainer choice for the best affordable fat tire e-bike. Winning the award for best cruiser e-bike of 2023 is the specialized Turbo Como. And here we have the Como 3.0 IGH, which stands for Internal Gear Hub. And it is the most expensive bike we have on, on this video. We try to keep it right around $3,000 or less. And we are frankly very shocked that Specialized was able to deliver the 3.0 IGH just over $3,000. It is a top of the line commuter e-bike that we really feel is fantastic just for about anybody if you're an avid cyclist that wants to you know jump on an e-bike if you're new to e-bikes and have a little bit more money to go top of the line it's a fantastic bike and really what sets it apart is its ride quality so you have a again the igh internal gear hub so shifting is super smooth super easy you can shift under load you can shift when you're stopped it has the carbon gates belt drive so that system, very low maintenance. When you combine that with a 250 watt mid-drive motor that just gives you ample power, you really, like, even if you're not a cyclist, you feel kind of like a pro cyclist when you're on this thing. And it just, again, it just gives you a smile to your face. And we find that we recommend the Como to just a wide variety of people. For me personally, it was the bike that I recommended to my mother-in-law after she got her knee replaced. So that's a pretty intense procedure and she really wanted to be diligent and work hard through the recovery. And this just fit the bill perfectly because of how smooth the engagement is and how if she needs a little bit extra power, she can crank it up, you know, to full, full power and, but still get a workout if she wants to. So just in general, fantastic, high quality, high performance e-bike. Yeah, it really is uncanny just how this bike can uh, give you an experience where you are definitely going up further, harder, faster, but every single uh, foot of that journey feels like it, it came from you. It's kind of what you would expect from one of the most prestigious uh, bike brands on the planet. And honestly, like Justin was saying, this is kind of the experience you would almost expect from one of the most prestigious uh, brands in all of cycling. Honestly, the way that the Turbo Coma can make you feel like that souped up version of yourself is uncanny, even across a lot of other e-bikes that we have tested in the high end. Uh, it, the bike also pairs with a mastermind app, which allows you to actually get in and customize and detail the ride to tailor it a little bit more to you. It is what you would expect from a bike that it, you're shopping in a higher price tier, but I always look at value as something, it's not spending little money, it is getting a great experience for the money that you're spending, and that is what you would be getting with the Specialized Turbo Como. So our choice for the best moto or moped style e-bike is the Ride One Up Rev One. This thing is just insanely fast and powerful. It kind of follows in the footsteps of Super 73, but it's able to maintain a much more affordable price point in comparison. The first thing, we just really love how this bike looks. It's compact and aggressive. It looks like a motorcycle and it really has the power and performance to back that up. There are two different trim levels on this bike. There's the hardtail and a full suspension model. Uh, there are a few spec differences between those and also two different price points. So that allows you to choose the trim package that fits your budget. Uh, regardless of which model you choose, the bike ships as a class two e-bike. So that tops out at 20 miles an hour. But if you reach out to ride one up, they can instruct you on how to unlock the bike. So you can hit 28 miles per hour as a class three e-bike or even faster speeds in off-road mode. Uh, we also really liked the range on this bike. We tested it in its class two mode as it ships. 
and uh, we got just over 36 miles, which uh, in, sorry, in the maximum PAS setting, which is pretty impressive considering that with this bike, the motor is really doing all of the work for you. So I just, I, I absolutely fell in love with this thing personally. Uh, every time that I got back from a ride on it, I was just beaming. And, you know, I've said to many people in the office that if I were to consider a moped style e-bike for myself, it, this is undoubtedly the one that I would choose. Uh, I, I just loved it, so. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's an argument to be made that some e-bikes are worth getting off of looks alone. And for me, that would be the Rev1. It just looks awesome. But the fact that it has great performance to couple with the great looks just makes it kind of a home run. Ride one up really smashed it out of the park with the Rev1. Um, a couple other things that stood out to me, I've ridden a lot of really fast e-bikes, but I a lot of them get a little bit uh, shaky or a little bit loose at those higher speeds. This one, felt so good traveling around very fast. It was honestly such an exhilarating ride. Like most moto style e-bikes, it doesn't lend itself particularly well to pedaling. It does kind of encourage some throttle use with very light pedaling, but it does, does provide great overall ride quality. Uh, for me and John, I know we're gonna have some inevitable fights about who gets to take this one home because we had such a blast. We live spoiled lives as e-bike reviewers and I rarely does a week go by where I don't get to test out a new e-bike. And while I have fun experiences across them all, very few when I get off of them do I immediately want to get back on, but that's just what the Rev1 could deliver for us, which is why it's this year's best moped or moto style e-bike. This was by far our easiest award to give away. Let me introduce you to Electric Bike Company's Model S. Just by looking at it, you can tell this is the quintessential beach cruiser, and it receives the award for the most beautiful and most customizable e-bike out there. This bike has the power to transport you, no matter where you're riding it, to that feeling of riding it down the boardwalk next to the beach. And I bet if you closed your eyes while riding this, you would probably smell the ocean. I don't recommend closing your eyes though. Now, as you can tell, let's talk about all the different customization things that you can do with this bike that makes it so special. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but there are so many details on this bike. You can change the color of your front fender. You can change the color of your frame. You can change the color of your basket and not only your basket, but the interior of the basket. This bike, when you're done designing it, will be 100% uniquely you. And I don't know another company out there that gives you a bike like this. Gone are the days of you not knowing which bike is yours because they're all black. You will never lose your bike in the crowd again. The second way that you can customize your Model S to your liking are the components itself that come on this bike. You can choose a rigid fork, a rigid fork, excuse me, or you can choose a suspension fork like we have on this one. You can choose to have baskets or you can ha choose to have pannier bags. There are so many possibilities of the things that you can add to this. Say you live in San Francisco and you deal with hills every day, you can upgrade from the single, the single gear to a, shep, a seven gear shifter. But my personal favorite thing that you can do to upgrade this bike and just take it over the edge is to add a second battery to double your range. We're talking 100 miles on a range by adding a battery in this front basket. And I know what you're thinking, who wants to sit on a bike for 100 miles? That sounds like not very much fun. But I have personally range tested this bike for 100 miles and this is one of the most comfortable saddles I have ever sat in. So if it's comfort you're worrying about, Electric Bike Company's got your back. Absolutely. Realistically, if beach cruisers are your jam, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't have an Electric Bike Company model on your short list. Representing it is the Model S today for this award, but it just as easily could have gone to these uh, more rugged looking Model R, or of course the Model Y as well. There are many good options. At the end of the day, this is a company that has a lot of care and attention to detail for the bikes that they produce. And really, like Christina mentioned, there is no other company that comes even close to offering this level of customization. But not only will they let you make the bike how you want it, but they are willing to stand by the products that they produce. They have an almost unheard of 10 year warranty on the frame and on the motor with a five year warranty on the battery. For context, the standard is usually one year for all of that. Occasionally you'll see two 
We're really happy when we see five years for most of it. I don't know of anyone else that went as far as 10 years for the frame and for the motor. It is an absolute testament to the fact that they believe that these bikes are gonna last you for the long haul. And honestly, if you love beach cruisers, give Electric Bike Company and the Model S a look. It's a great bike. The next award is for the best long range e-cargo bike. And that award goes to the Electric Expedition. Now, as Griffin mentioned earlier, Electric is known kind of for their value priced budget level e-bike with the 3.0. They have way outdone themselves when it comes to the e-cargo lineup with of the Expedition. And starting at just under $1,500 is several hundred or even a thousand dollars less than some of their competitors but it's still a really good cargo bike. You know, when, we, when you're looking at a cargo bike, you need carrying capacity, you need power. This has a 450 pound carrying capacity. We tested it at that, it does a good job. The motor they designed specifically for this bike to be a good hill climber. And it is the best hill climber we've had from electric, even though it's their heaviest bike. And so they really did a good job on that, on that motor to give you the power and the torque that you need to carry heavy loads. In addition though, you'll see here in the middle, this is the dual battery option. And again, for under $2,000, you can get dual, two batteries. They give you an incredible range from 60 to 120 miles on those two batteries, which again, is just phenomenal. And, and when you combine the power and the range with how surprisingly well this handles. It doesn't feel like it's a long tail cargo bike, but that's what it is. And so all of those things combined just make this really a fantastic electric cargo bike. Yeah, when we first heard about the electric expedition, quite honestly, it broke my brain a little bit. Uh, for most cargo e-bikes, we consider the starting price point to be close to the $2,000 mark. So this one's starting out at 1400 and just a few hundred dollars more for the dual batteries, quite, Quite frankly, I was floored, like I couldn't believe it. So what makes that really appealing is you could still, in theory, get the dual battery option and equip it with the accessories you need and then finally be at the same starting price as a lot of other cargo bikes that only have a single battery and that you haven't added on those necessary attachments yet. Um, the one that we have here, of course, has the runner boards with the uh, second child seat. You can even get an orbiter package that uh, makes it easier to, to transport two kids on this. And then of course you can get large heavy duty pannier bags and baskets, lots of different customization options so that you can ride the expedition how you need. A lot of the times I used to think of cargo e-bikes kind of similar to minivans. Not a lot of people buy them for uh, want, they usually buy them for need. But just like a good minivan, this is the type of thing that after you ride it, you're going to want to ride it more and you're going to look for more excuses to get out to go grocery shopping or to go uh, out with the kids. It's a really good overall cargo e-bike. Next up is a bike that we have consistently loved for the last two years and wins the award for best overall commuter e-bike of 2023. That is the Rad City 5 Plus Step Through. Now, Rad talks about this bike being made for the weekdays, but also for the weekends. And we agree wholeheartedly. If you're looking for a great commuter bike that will take you to and from the office without breaking a sweat, this is a great option. It has a 750 watt rear hub motor that performs very well, both on flats and on the hills. It also comes with all the standard equipment that you need in a commuter. It has the front and rear fenders to keep your clothes dry and clean. It also has that nice rear rack with good weight capacity. So you can take, you know, home groceries or whatever you need to go to the office. But when you flip over to weekend and fun mode, you know, for me personally, this is a bike that I love to take home and add some of Rad's accessories. So my personal favorite right now, I have a six year old, he likes to go on bike rides with me. I like to put on the, the Thule kid's seat on the rear rack throw AJ on, we can zip down to the grocery store, get a treat, get an ice cream, come back. It just makes this bike much more versatile than just a standard commuter. And is just overall really fun to ride. You notice the geometry, it's that upright, little more sweat back handles, the Dutch, you know, kind of a Dutch style e-bike that's extremely comfortable. And I know this is a personal preference, but for me, I just love the looks of this bike. Frankly, I think it's a bike that looks more expensive than it actually is. And from a ride quality, I think it rides better than what you would pay for at this level. 
Yeah, I can actually echo that sentiment for sure. With the Rad City, it is just a very good, I think that almost kind of like a joy ride. It is equipped to be your commuter, and I understand why they say weekday weekend, because you'll take it to work, but man, on the weekend, you'll just get out, just to go on a ride just because. Um, overall, it's a good, compelling spec package. It's got great safety. It's got good braking capabilities. And when it comes to the motor, similarly to what Justin mentioned before with the Rad Runner, their motors are just some of the most consistent and reliable performers. I always appreciated the fact that each uh, pedal assist level feels distinct. You know exactly what you're gonna get. It makes it a good e-bike that you can see people across the age spectrum being able to handle safely, but still have that fun and enjoyable e-bike experience. The Rad City Commuter is a great one. We personally prefer the step through, but they also have a high step version that you can take a look at as well. Okay, now it's time for the best e-bike for camping. Yeah, so anybody who knows me knows I've been an avid camper for my whole entire life. So what makes a great camping bike, great e-bike for camping? Well, you look at this here, you've got the all-terrain tires, you've got the suspension, and you've got a good looking frame for taking to the outdoors. But look a little more closely, the battery, 960 watt hours. What does that translate to? Well, on our range test, this bike took us over 80 miles on PAS1. So yeah, long range, you wanna have that because when you're camping, you don't have a lot of places to charge a 48 volt battery. But have no fear, sitting back there by the rear wheel is something that comes with this, which is a solar panel kit and thousand watt inverter. So that means even if you don't have a place to plug in and recharge your bike, you can just set up the panels here and in about six hours, do it at the end of the day or the very beginning of the day, you've got your battery all recharged. But even better is that inverter, you can plug in your laptop computer, you can recharge your iPhone, you can even run a coffee maker. So, you know, I'm talking about doing camping right. That's gonna do it for you right there. So the earlier version of this bike that we did a review on, it had a different shifter. Well, they put a good rapid fire trigger shifter on it now compared to the old one. And it's got some other nice features too, um, other color choices and also the grips. It's got rubber grips now instead of the uh, faux leather ones. So a really good package for a camping bike. This isn't just a regular bike, but a great bike for camping. Yeah, absolutely. And it's the bike in and of itself is an absolute blast to ride. It is definitely one of those that uh, leans a little bit more towards the speedy end of the spectrum. Um, but I find that to be an absolute blast. And thanks to those big, large, fat tires, it is capable of just absolutely romping around those campgrounds. We have had a lot of fun with it out here in uh, the desert on trails such as the one that we're on now. Um, it's an absolute blast. And that inverter and solar panel uh, combination that you can add to check out with this bike that Forrest was mentioning, it is something I have only seen offered by maybe two or three other e-bike companies, but I don't think I have seen a combination of uh, bike worth recommending with these accessories to pair with it for this affordable of a price. So overall, it just makes the mock wheel basalt, quite frankly, one of the most pleasant surprises of a new e-bike that we tested over the last year, which made it absolutely a bike we had to include as the best camping e-bike of 2023. If you stayed with us this long, thank you. We hope that you found this video very helpful as we've covered 13 of our favorite e-bikes for 2023. Now remember, we weren't able to cover everything, so please follow the link below to our best overall page where you'll find detailed reviews of these bikes and the runner-up bikes that are also fantastic e-bikes that you should consider. And also, don't forget to leave us a comment as well. We love to know what bikes our audience members are riding so that we, we can see the bikes that we need to get out there and review and evaluate for ourselves to see if it makes our best list when we do an update later on. And of course, if you haven't yet, again, hit that subscribe button and notification bell as we have a lot of upcoming best videos for different styles of bikes. But for the rest of the EBR team, thank you and we'll see you on the next video.